Hello all, this is Dr. Anand Nayar. Subscribe to my YouTube channel Gyan with Anand Nayar for latest tech videos on unboxings, server administration, embedded systems, cloud computing, simulations, big data, Linux administration, research methodology, ethical hacking and many more. Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video I will be demonstrating how to install Watt OS on Oracle VirtualBox. Now before we dive in the installation part of Watt OS on Oracle VirtualBox, let us first of all understand what is meant by Watt OS. Watt OS is a fast desktop Linux distribution based on Ubuntu using the lightweight OpenBox window manager as its default user interface. The distribution strives to be in as energy efficient as possible so that it can be used on low specification and recycled computers. If we talk of more details of Watt OS, you can see on the website that is planetwatt.com slash new. It is a new website which is being created and if you go on the more details of this operating system, you can just click on wiki and you can find that the new version is being released that is Watt OS R10. So it's a beautiful interface which you can see on the screen right now and if we go on more exploration of the website to download, you can just go on downloads and you can see that the latest version is R10 64-bit CD-ROM based ISO file for BitTorrent. We have the CD-ROM based ISO file for direct download and even the 64-bit MD5 sum based file which is known as a secure file. This version is available both for 32-bit as well as 64-bit computers. So in this video I will be demonstrating how to install the MicroWatt R10 64-bit CD-ROM on Oracle VirtualBox and similarly you can even download the Watt OS LXDE based that is lightweight fully featured desktop based version on this website. So let's get started on the practical aspect. So let's start with Oracle VirtualBox. So let's make the virtual machine. So let's click on new and let me type the Watt OS. So let's give the type as Linux and take the version as Ubuntu 64-bit because it is based on Ubuntu so I will be taking the version as 64-bit. So let's click on next. So let us increase the RAM to 2 GB. Click on next. Click on create. Next. And here we have the storage on physical hard disk so we have to create it as dynamic allocated so let's keep it checked as dynamic allocated so click on next. And now let us allocate some hard disk drive to this Watt OS. So 10 GB is okay but let me increase it to 20 GB so that we can improve uh, the Watt OS with more increase of repositories and packages in the near future. So let's click on create. And now let us click on settings. So let's go to advanced and click on bidirectional and bidirectional under drag and drop and share clipboard. So let's go to system and let's click off the floppy and let's put the optical drive below hard disk drive and let's go to processor, increase the processor to 2 and enable PAE oblique NX and let's go to storage. So let's click on empty and let's browse the operating system. So over here we have under my D drive operating systems and here we have the microwatt R10 64 bit. So let's click on OK and let's fire the operating system. So now you can see that it has given me four options that is live, boot the live system, exports, memtest and HD. So let's go with the live operating system part aspect. So let's close this and let's go to view and full screen. So you can see that a green interface is being there and most of the window shortcuts are also working on this operating system. How it will be working I will be demonstrating in just few moments. So now you can see that the desktop has come. So you can see over on the right hand side window key plus enter to terminal, window key plus F for the file manager and window key plus B for web browser. So in order to start with the installation because right now we are running in the live mode. So let's go with the window key and the F button. So it will open the file manager and now let us click on this install microwave based option in order to start with the installation. So you can see everything is uh, very much handy and everything is very much uh, clean etc. So let's go with the installation in the language part. So click on English and click on continue. 
So let's go with a click of this download updates while installing microwatt R10 and install third party applications. So let's click on continue. So now this computer currently has no detected operating system. What we would like to do that is erase this. So let's click the same option that is install now and click on continue. So now it is detected the location that is click on continue again. So now we have the keyboard layout. So we have to go with English US and let's drag over here and click on continue. So let me type my name. So let's type my username and let me pick the password and click on continue. So now you can see that it has started copying the files. So the installation procedure can take from 8 to 15 minutes. So grab a coffee and uh, enjoy the installation. So till it installs, let me pause the video for some time. So now you can see that it has started installing the system and now it will be starting configuring the system locals and uh, other things like configuring APT and installing the packages. So depending on your net connection speed, it will uh, take less time to retrieve all the files. So all the files are being retrieved and now let's go with the next part of this uh, video or the installation that is it is configuring hardware, loading the USB modules and all other things which we have already seen in much of the Ubuntu based distribution installations. So it is configuring the bootloader now, that is grub. And now anytime the installation can be finished. So you can see that installation has finished and you can continue testing microword R bit now. But let's go with the restart so that we can be able to boot from our hard disk drive as the micro bit is now installed successfully on our virtual box. So let's click on restart now. So let's press enter to remove any installation media. So you can see that it has greeted us with the interface with the micro watt. So let's press enter so that we can boot with the main operating system. And yes, you can see that the clean desktop has come to us and now let us type our password which we have set during the installation and let us start with the desktop based interface. So a cool wallpaper is there. Okay. So now let us start with the terminal. So let's press the window key and the enter key and you can see that the terminal has started. So now first of all, let us log in with the root. So let's give the command same command as we have given in Ubuntu that is sudo password okay so now su space minus and now you can see that the root has logged in so let's clear this so let's type pwd it is working under slash root and who am I you can see it is root so let's go and, and see the IP address of this machine so it is there. So let's ping uh, Google. So you can see that it is pinging. So now let us update the system. So same command apt-get 
update. So depending on net connection, it can take some time. So even you can configure all sorts of packages which you configure in Ubuntu on MicroWatt because it is even the uh, part of Ubuntu or you can say it is a shell which is being taken from Ubuntu. So all the packages are updating. At the first time it will take some time. So after this I will be telling you how to install the guest editions of VirtualBox on MicroWatt R10 operating system. Just a simple command, reboot the system and you are done. To copy paste your uh, uh, stuff from the main files of host operating system to the guest operating system. Okay, so lots of packages are there. Let's wait for this to finish. So all the packages are updated. So now what you have to do in order to install the VirtualBox guest editions, you just have to give this command apt-get install virtualbox-guest-dkms. So you can see that it will be installing some more packages also. So let's click on Y and press enter. So it is building up the modules. So after that you just have to reboot the system and everything will be set out automatically. Okay, so it can take some time. So everything is visible over here, it is memory about 1.7G, swap is 0.0G. So you can see the IP address, the CPU utilization, the battery utilization of my laptop as well as the date and the time. Okay, so everything is set up. Okay, great. So now let us uh, go for this command that is hostname CDL. So you can see that it is giving you all the details and the operating system is 16.04. So which means that MicroWatt R10 is basically Ubuntu 16.04 that is LTS version. And now if we go with that as a cat slash etc slash lsb hyphen release. So you can say again 16.04 and it is Xenial. So let's exit from here. And now let us go to some file manager with a window key and F. So you can see under the desktop, so there are some packages which can be there and applications are there with under accessories, under graphics, under internet we have the web browser, so under others we have nothing I think so, preferences we have some display synaptic packet manager so you can if you double click, let me show you that also. So lots of packages are there. So lots of packages are there so you just have to download and install uh, whatever package you want to install and get it. So this is all about the MicroWatt operating system and if you can go with the file manager and desktop so you can even go over there. So in this video I have demonstrated how to install the MicroWatt operating system that is R10 version on VirtualBox. So do like this video, do comment and also give me your valuable comments on what 
real world area you would like to implement this operating system on uh, on your workplace and if you want to ask any other questions please leave down the comment below and the website and all the links to this video will be available in the description below thank you so much for watching thank you